It'll also depend if the Lena has already precast and ensure that when the fight starts, she has her stacks going. So just those little things. Yeah, well, game number one here, Vici versus Serenity. And it is the type of game that feels like it could potentially uh, go the distance a little bit. I don't know. Actually, I feel like this one might be uh, kind of on the quicker side. Like, you have a lot of, like, well, I don't know. It sort of depends on how well Vici's, like, laning stage goes, right? Yep. Like, if Paparazzi has a really good game, the high ground defense from Team Serenity just seems abysmal. Um, but on the flip side, if Serenity get off to a hot start in these lanes, Vici are going to be able to hold forever, basically. Like, you've got Batrider there, so it's hard for you to step up and try and hit Tier 3 towers. You've got a Gyrocopter that can spam out waves. Man, on the one hand, I like the support Ursa, and on the other hand, I hate the support Ursa. Because the benefits of the support Ursa are that, like, the Ursa's kind of countered but by the Batrider, and then even just, like, the general uh, difficulty and mobility of getting on top of Alina, so you kind of need, like, a Blink and a Skull Basher. But then I don't know how, like, he can't trade that well versus a Bane and a Batrider. So yeah. what is his support going to be able to do? I feel like he's just going to be sitting here leeching, and the only way he gets kills is through some sort of an arrow. It can be very difficult. We do also have the silencer. What a build. Four tangos and four branches. Okay, all you need? Yeah, just use a branch for every tango. Suddenly he's got eight tangos worth. But yeah, Wind Ranger mid. Gonna be Blast going from the past. Against the Lena. So taking the clinks out of there, just not wanting to deal with that matchup. That would be a little bit annoying. A little bit easier for Wind Ranger to uh, handle the pelting of all those right clicks with the Wind Run, but still not a, a great time, really. She can just harass back like this and bully a little bit, but once the spells start stacking up for the Lena, a lot easier to hit all of your spells than it is for the Wind Ranger to keep getting consistent power shots on top of you. What else is kind of cool is they both got Strafe and Wind Run, so it's like two different ways that you dodge projectiles. Sadly, <laughs> there are none. I mean, there's the right clicks, but other than that, there's no like spell-based projectiles yeah. that are coming out here. It's really just the right clicks. Uh, man, and already a lot of pressure here on towards the bottom lane. Lanham taking a beating, Paparazzi taking a beating. Getting down very low. This Bloodseeker would have been a really nice pickup in this one. Yeah, the, the check shot dodging actually will be really nice against Gyrocopter, though. It's between, uh, I, I'm guessing, the missile and the flat cannon. Should be good. As we talked about, it is the Bane together with the Bat Rider. We'll just be trading hits. Bottom lane, still Lanham taking a little bit of damage there, but only to trade it off. Um, Top lane, they, they get a little bit of damage in there from the supporters. So he gets a slowdown, gets some punches in there, and loses three quarters of his HP. But he did quite a bit of work too. So God, this is triple range creep coming in. Serenity are just like pressuring them constantly. I think he was going underneath the tower here and. Going to force a reaction. Yeah, I don't think they'll be able to get to me these denies, though. And uh, these trades, uh, very advantageous for Fenrir. Hit them a lot. Flat cannon spam now, also. Gonna do some damage down there to GGG and XCJ. Force them back, and a regen rune for the Wind Ranger. Power shot, give them one time. And the trade. Oh, that was a nice play. Hits. So problems with the mid Wind Ranger, and I would say like reasons why we don't see it all too often, is that she's just not the same kind of like lane dominator that she was before. Uh, I guess it's not like she's gotten a lot worse, but it just, I don't know, maybe it's just the change in the mid heroes that we have instead. But uh, overall, the thing about Core Wind Ranger is that she needs a lot of items. Yeah. Like every time you buy an item, you feel like you just need another one. It's like, you know, oh, I finally got my eggs. And it's like, oh, now I need a BKB so I can actually use my eggs and blah, 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 blah. So, uh, not really expecting the eggs to come out here as uh, the double null is also there. Just trying to keep up with this damage of Lena, who has gone for the double null for herself. Yeah. Well, and I remember back in the day when it first came to prominence, uh, or I should say first, it was a couple of years ago, but it was probably like the third or fourth time that it's been seen. Um, it was tended to be like the eggs immediately into a chrysalis or like a, a mini crit is they're going to do some damage there on a ZYD. Uh, and then that started to get taken down because you were like, oh, we actually need the BKB after the Ags. And then it just kind of went to heck. But um, now with the Maelstrom, you can sometimes go for it as well. And ZZZ doing some damage down there. As and even the turn with away. five, six stacks now. That's a good bit of damage. Just not afraid and finds first blood. 
Fenrir goes down. Eleven kind of in some trouble too. He is firefly, but the damage coming through from this Ursa, they don't really have a great answer, and he finds a double kill. Wow. Excellently played from inside of Serenity. Just kind of flawless positioning going through, knowing the limits there from Zin Q, able to stack up six times, but in the bottom lane, similar play happening, and this time it'll be Serenity who suffer. Paparazzi with his uh, stuck out scarf will grab the kill. Make it work. Yeah, I'd say a uh, good bit of damage that comes out there early. The 1 1 1 build from the gyrocopter. As far as the CS is concerned, Lena somewhat dominating the Wind Ranger. 26 and 7 versus the 17 and 2. Uh, where's the bottle at? Is it on the courier? Oh, yeah. That is nice. Give him a little trade. I'll pass that one over to him and now oh, getting top close lane, to the top lane, PYW also went for the kill. There's six Fury Swipe stacks on this bane. Oh, you're crazy! He needs one more. <laughs> <laughs> was it quite there? He's in mid-animation. The attack speed slow. Eight of them. Jeez. Not quite enough there. Rather, the turn rate slow, that is. But anyway, uh, 220 gold for bane. Surviving. And ZinQ forced back. Only one leap remaining. Has to use it. The Nightmare is there, and with all these stacks maintained... Oh, no, it fell off. Yeah. It's a little unfortunate. Now Fender is actually in a little bit of trouble. Has to go back for the brain stab to stay alive, but so PYW has shown up. Now this Ursa gets a little bit discombobulated. Fender there. is out of everything. Yeah, he's just going to probably run out of here. Oh, hey, Selena coming through, but spotted from the war there, and that allows them to retreat. Yeah. It's only a level 3 Ursa. Can't really do much against this with the Light Strike Array and a Laguna Blade. Or I could just blow them up. So they are going to trade off bounty runes there. You can see that VG were able to take a couple on the other side of the map. Serenity are going to end up taking a few as well. So they left the Wind Ranger alone mid, but ZYD didn't quite find any sort of moment to alt the tower or anything. So no real pressure, uh, no problems with the rotation from the Lena. And now just going to be eyeing up that six minute rune down bottom. They are chasing a little bit, trying to get another one of these kills on the ZZZ if possible, but a little bit too deep there. Bit too speedy. Well, top lane now. Five stacks on the Zin Q. The damage comes through so quickly and with no leap. That is going to be a kill, but UIW wants to finish off 11. Gets some revenge for his Marana. This Ursa's 3 and 1. He's slaying. He's Might as well be the core. He's got as much farm as his core. And uh, you kind of need this on this hero, too, right? Like, if you're going to play this greedy Ursa support, he, he still wants a Blink Dagger to be effective. Pretty much worthless without it. It's kind of a cool little idea, right? Because, like, if Marana throws out the arrow, you either have to dodge left or right, and then Ursa can get a couple more hits off for the Fury Swipes, right? It's like a weird way to zone somebody out. Yeah, you, uh, give that Arcane Curse over to that Catapult. Take it down. Give it the last word. Mm. Well, good bit of damage as they spread out. Don't take the double from the Spirit. Oh, so low. Barazzi Thought about going in He's for saving it. the skill point. He's still just not going to spend it. Meanwhile, top lane, they are finding Fenrir, and it looks like it is going to be a quick and easy kill there as they take him down as well. <laughs> the right. Nightmare onto PYW, and then they're just able to follow it through and find an arrow. God, phase boots Ursa. Seven minutes in is the support. Like, this lane is just so much harder now for Vici. Yeah, they have not gotten much of this at all. Uh, about 2,100 net worth, so behind even the Ursa for the Batrider, and then uh, Bane much further down on the chart there. So not looking too great. Uh, meanwhile, Ori in the mid lane playing very aggressively, throwing with some stuns, missing on a couple, but he's got a regen rune, so he's just hoping for a, a play possibility there onto ZYD. And Ori actually gets all the way back because there is an Observer Ward here, and there's no Enrage. That's support Ursa. Oh, the nightmare! No! Oh my god. Fenrir! That's not what you wanted. They still find it, though. Light Strike Array comes out. The damage. Oh, no! It's not quite. Oh, they <laughs> get him. That would have been tragic. Uh, you know what it was? It was the next level play because okay. it made them use Moonlight Shadow. It gave them false hope. <laughs> VG Gaming, they are just too, strong, uh, too smart. All about that next level play. And ZYD moves back in again. Trying to get towards those phase boots for himself as top lane zinq has been left alone. I mean, this Batrider, again, you don't necessarily pick it always for the laning stage. I think it's more about that ulti and what you can do with it later on. But you'd love for him to be able to get out of here with a decent timing on either a blink or if he wants to go for the drums. I don't know. 
Uh, uh, I think he probably needs Blink in this game. If he has Blink, the Alina will be ready to abuse it with him. So I think it's all right. You just got to make sure that you have a partner that can actually go around with you and get kills if you go for the Blink first. Uh, the drums is for when you're dominating a lane and you want to keep up that pressure and slow down some sort of an enemy carry. But he doesn't have any sort of a carry that he can really abuse because the Ursa ended up being the support. And uh, PYW, well, you guys remember the good old days at Ursa Jungle. It's back, baby. You just pick support. And call your, you know, Don't call yourself the jungler. You just support for the first, like, five minutes, and everything will be fine. You're actively ruining my pubbing experience. I try. <laughs> it's very important. Unbelievable. Well, we are taking a look now. Nine minutes in, as far as net worth is concerned for the top heroes, about 4,000 for both the Gyro and the Lina. They're having a very nice time for themselves. And... Oddly enough, it's the Ursa that's sort of trading spots with the Clinks there and getting pretty close to about the same amount. The Clinks has just been ran at constantly. Uh, Zinq. First lasso of the game. They pull back in. The Marana does have Leap available, but the relocate in. Almost able to find the kill, but PYW wanting to get this chase down. It doesn't look like it's quite going to happen as they kill off that Ursa. It's a relatively big kill, and not uh. Serenity. <laughs> the Arrow of Justice was not enough. Uh, no. Uh, nice double kill. Good use of the first relocate. Good first lasso. And that's the kind of stuff that you want with a bat rider draft. So I can either use, uh, you know, you can wander by yourself. Man, this is actually a really synergistic draft. Oh, like, Shackle. ZYT makes the play onto Ori. He just focus fired him and ran at him. All right. Pretty big pickup there. Slowing down the Yule Scepter. In fact, that death cost pretty much took it away. 166 there. I mean, while Zinq returns top, might be a kill here with XCJ. Yeah, the slowdown, he's going to get hit by that one. Good juke out from the arrow, but oh, there's going to be the connection with Starstorm, and they get the kill. Minus two. Meanwhile, top lane, ZZZ, they're trading hits, and does look like Paparazzi is going to go down as this Wind Ranger has been making all the plays in the world, along with the Ursa, who's now just eaten the Rocket Barrage, but one more power shot will finish it. It's a nice uh, answer back there, too, because uh, they're basically just waiting on cooldowns now for the Radiant Side right before they just want to do that again. They just want to use Relocate, and they want to use Lasso. And uh, what's so good about the Radiant Side draft, though, is that I think Io and Bane are one of the most picked support duos of all time because the, the Io strats have always historically used Bane just wandering by himself. And up top, actually attempting a solo kill here on a Zin Q. And it's going to be all right. They Didn't have him. a dust and still made it work. Lasso just needed at the end to secure, but totally worth it. Give him the all chat. Give him the tip. <laughs> 11. I love it. 11 feeling pretty good about it. They had a, an interaction in the pub. You can tell. And nobody here has thought that they were going to be able to bring back Bat Rider and make it work. But 11 is the one that's doing it. And meanwhile, in the mid lane, they do manage to find the Yule Scepter and the kill there. As Ori takes down PYW. XCJ. Able to zone back Fenrir as well as they give him one more power shot on the backside before he heads oh, out of geez. there. That sentry just missed up there. Oh, so close. <laughs> How unfortunate. And I'll keep them a little bit safe behind the tower now. Really good ward, honestly, by Team Serenity. Like, that, that is a distinct, like, I hope this doesn't get dewarded ward because everyone wards for that little box up there where everyone drops their observers. Oh. Yeah, it's the uh, type of thing that can make all the difference in the world. And you know, you get to maintain that extra little bit of vision. You see that there are rotations coming, and then you can sort of either A, dive the tower, take it down, or B, just dodge that potential. Um, Lanham, relocate is ready if they want to set up for another kill, as they do have Blink, but still a little ways away before Lasso is up. 20 seconds. Yeah, 11 needs the time for his Tranquils to kick in too, honestly, so... Not too big of a deal. They'll just slowly make the rotation to the mid lane, get a little bit of farm there, but ZYD's also at the bottom, just pushing him with power shot, and he'll be harassing a tower himself if he wants. Looks like he's not uh, too sure about the confidence in the bottom lane, because they haven't seen anyone in a while, uh, but they spot the Bat Rider on that Observer War that remains. I feel like Serenity don't want to take 5-on-5 five five engagements here. Like, the strength of a Gyrocopter in these early stages with call down and everything else that he's got in his toolkit it's much better to play sort of pick off Dota and then split push around the map. Yeah, they really need the Blink Dagger on the Ursa. Um, so they have a support that can do something and actually combo up with this Global Silence. Uh, other than that, they have to hit a big arrow because they're still waiting on itemization from the Wind Ranger. ZYD, I think he's not uh, sure exactly on what they're going to need for the Wind Ranger, too. Yeah, does it, is it Blink keeps switching back and forth between the Blink buildup or the, uh, the Maelstrom? And it will be the completed Maelstrom. 
I mean, it does come at a cost, right? Like, so that allows him to push waves to make sure that the lanes are constantly pressured out. But the downside to it is that it means they really still don't have that initiation outside of like Moon Knight, Shadow, and Run at them. Um, which can sometimes work. <laughs> you know, I've seen it before. But it's not necessarily reliable. Feels like they picked half of the heroes that are good against an IO. Well, they Moonlight Shadowed and they ran at him, and this is what happens. Global Silence to try and turn it. ZYD already trying to blow up this Wind Ranger, excuse me, the Bat Rider, and they do manage to find the kill. But now the Fiend's Grip onto one. Clinks is dead. PYW also gone. And meanwhile, the chase forward for more Zinq, you just a madman runs in there, able to get away. <laughs> the drive by shooting okay, of Ori. Okay, Ori. That was a big recovery. Uh, but they still lost the tower, so in the end, I do believe this is still going to favor the side of Ichi Gaming. But I think, like, they picked some heroes that are good against Io, but then they just didn't pick out. Oh, it's actually a big gold change for the Dire side, even though it's two for two, just because the goldie that is there for the rating. But this isn't showing the tower gold, so depends on how you look at it. And also, just, just keep in mind that Relocate is still available in case anyone gets in trouble over the next minute before we wait for the lasso. So still feeling pretty good about VG. Uh, what they have going for themselves. Just need that uh, Shadow Blade finished up on the Lena. But uh, overall, so what happens is that they have this Isle plus Gyrocopter, and Clinks has always been a good hero versus the Isle because he can just blow it up. But uh, as you can see in this last little engagement here, Sentry's already down, so that helps scout them out. The quick grab onto the old Clinks. I mean, it definitely shows the strength of that uh, Global Silence. As you see some Bowdy Rune battle going on there. And Pushback as well. Paparazzi chasing Zing Q. They take him down and now looking for more. They manage to almost find the kill there on his GGZ. The Clinks taking the damage forward and Lanham also going to pay the price. Can they find any more in Nightmare? Yeah. Arcane Rune. They're chasing hard. They want to make this happen. Shackle shots available. Paparazzi needs to be careful with the angle that he runs at and. Careful he doesn't get Ori. <laughs> I mean, Ori could think about helping him turn this. Although they're all here. Yeah, they just need to get out of here. All right, ZYD is a madman. This guy's just running at him. Oh, or he's stuck. Oh, he God. is trapped. He's getting shackled. They get the shackle catch, and that's going to be the damage for the kill on Delina. Two times Another dead in the last couple minutes. Eight. Very nice wrap around there from ZoID, and that uh, gets the link dagger there for PYW. And our support, Ursa, is on the way to the basher at this point. I mean, if that's queued up in your inventory in 16 minutes, you got to be feeling pretty good, I'm sure. But no blink. Oh, no, wait, blink's no, it's done. In there. It's on there. Okay. Yeah. No, don't worry. I was confused for a moment. It happened. Not seconds. you. I'm <laughs> confused. <laughs> Days. Well, uh, XCJ needs about another 10 seconds here, but he did get a great ward down. Oh, ZQ is also going to pay the price, but it looks like they don't want to try and finish him off. They thought he was going to die from that, but with the rest of the heroes moving in from Serenity. Yeah, they had no detection, so. Evacuation. Easy survival. Oh, now they're all being revealed, and the back away. See, again, a very, like, sort of sparry, punchy, back-and-forth type of game. Um, it doesn't necessarily feel, uh, I don't know. It, it feels somewhat chaotic. Yeah. Uh, they're going to smoke up, though, and create a little bit more chaos here. Team's friendly up in the top lane. Uh, Bat Rider. Firefly, lead the path. Follow that fire. No. Dodges the arrow, but 11 was never going to live through that. I think I'd take the arrow. Yeah. I'd, I'd rather just die a lot faster, I think. <laughs> this savage bear ripping you apart. Lower respawn time. Yeah, it's uh, Ori gets power shot. They do have a shadow amulet. And meanwhile, over to the side, they Jeez. find themselves another. It's Fenrir going down. Get the plus two going for XCJ. Just like no remorse right now. Yeah. Uh, this guy just dives in. God, you're so positive. Like a plus two, not minus two. Yeah, <laughs> minus two. So that's too positive. You got to revel in the fact that this man is losing two intelligence. He's becoming dumber. By the death. Oh, it's plus two. Glass half full. I don't think so. Look at this silencer. He's Brain kinda, half empty. His cosmetic looks like he's smiling. It's great. That's a smile of you? <laughs> Everything's a smile. <laughs> All right, look forward down bottom, though. Ori. It's a little bit of a miss there on the light strike, right? PYW able to get out of there. But it just goes to show again, like, this Ursa jumps on this Lena, and she has to run away every single time. How many other support heroes would do that for you? Yeah, not too many. Because I feel like Ori also has some chances at some kill plays on him, too. Just because uh, the ridiculous burst he has now, the Shadow Blade. So, you have to be a little bit cautious, I think, at the, these, like, solo roams across the map now, once they find out the Shadow Blade's there. Uh, especially now. So, they have a Shadow Blade Lena. They have a Bane that can just wander around and nightmare people. And they have a lasso 
all three able to set up for relocates. Uh, and what's even scarier than that would be a five-man gank, but aha! The sentry. We'll scout out the observer ward placed by the dire. But now, if you just smoke now, it's kind of like, well, we saw five heroes here, so you yeah. kind of know they're smoking. I, I Sorry to hate this play, but whatever. They just dragon slave mid, too, because I'm sure they know that it's not that safe. Well, they are about to get global silenced, I feel like. As they are waiting, the Radiant scan, hoping they're going to see somebody up on that high ground. No such luck. Michi holding the high ground. And Serenity. Oh. <laughs> they're you hops in and pump fakes the Earth Shock. Like, oh, I guess they're not here. Oh, there comes the Dragon Slave. Oh, looking for the opening now. The Global Silence. They need to find the Silencer right at the start, but it's not going to happen. Global is out. Paparazzi pops his BKB, able to eat through that arrow so nobody else takes the damage. ZYD is dead. And Vici, in spite of the somewhat odd smoke play, make it work. They take down one, the buyback on the Wind Ranger. Apparently, they want to fight this one. Ori kills off that Ursa. Does he buy back too? The Shackle. Oh, no. Here, all buying back. They want to run in after them. Can they actually find these kills, though? The jump forward, Paparazzi in a little bit of trouble with no BKB. They did manage to find the Fiend's Grip onto the Ursa. That's a dieback for him. Wow, Fenrir, what a play. Meanwhile, the Shackle onto 11. They'll Ugh. take him down. Five dead he, for Vici. He survived so long, I thought it was going to work out, but Zin Q just too much damage. And uh, those buybacks were definitely worth it. Not only were they already behind, but uh, you know, getting that extra bonus gold. Able to TP right on top of the shrine and just get back into the engagement instantaneously. So, about a 1600 gold swing there for Team Serenity. And uh, we've talked a lot about Roche being a possibility for them. Fortunately, for the side of each game, the fight ends up happening on the eastern half of the map. So, we just start focusing down to this tower. And with a strafe and a soul ring, can force this down for the side of Team Spirit. Yeah. The other thing is that Ursa going Serenity. down makes that a little bit tougher. <laughs> uh. Sorry, Team Spirit. I feel like I've said Team Spirit like four times today between Team Secret and now Team Serenity. And I'm sure anyone, you know, any Team Spirit uh, organization people are just like, oh. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Shucks. Oh, happens. relocate top. We know Global's down. Die. Looking for the kill. Not yeah. the most value relocate, but it, you know. Yeah, it's, it's okay. You should get int back. You should go the other way. You should be able to reclaim <laughs> your int if you get the kill in the silencer. You just like pull it out of the brain or something, you know. That's fair enough. That's how science works. Yeah, I think so. ZYD spots out Ori here. Ooh, a little bit of a misplay, though. Walks into range of the tower. The light strike rate connects, and do they have vision? They are going to catch him. ZYD, done. That was ambitious. <laughs> Wind run under the tower. really think they get the kill, and hip, scop, and, er, hit, skip, and a bound. I don't know. Hop, skip, and a bound. Something like that. Gets away. Mm. You're Canadian. We'll, we'll I figured it out. <laughs> That's a saying, <laughs> not a mistake. Fools. <laughs> 11, or rather 18 to 20, 21 minutes in, and it's still just neck and neck in terms of net worth. They're going to go in for Roche now, and Vici want to see if they can break this game open. Oh, I was worried about Team Serenity being the ones to grab the Roche this whole time, but looks like it'll be easy peasy for Vici Gaming. Interference being run by 11, he smoked up here, so if that pops, he's going to know. The arrow just hit onto Fenrir, so they know what's happening. They're TPing in. 11 knows they're close, instantly pops their smoke, and they're like, oh my god, he's in there. So they curse him. to back down from a fight, though, as they're thinking about jumping in. Roche is going to fall. They managed to find it and get the Aegis. And with that, level 15 on IO. And so it begins. 25% XP gain is so strong. So if you guys haven't seen this combo before, and if you're like, oh, what's so good about IO and Gyrocopter? Well, it's because IO, as you guys know, has a talent that now gives the Aghanim Scepter. And Aghanim Scepter is practically a da double damage rune that you can't control for a Gyro, but it just gives them another attack. It's always coming out. And then later on, when Io gets the talents that lets you attack whenever the person you're tethering attacks, well, geez, that works with Flat Cannon. And with the Aghanims, that's pretty cool. Uh, so, yeah, that, that's pretty much the gist of it. No problem. I got you. It's it's so crazy, the amount of damage that gets done, particularly if you actually get into a couple of damage items for Io, because, as you mentioned, the talents, level 20 is a 150 GPM talent. Oh, now, the Radiant, the scan, it did hit. This is where things get a little bit scary, though, because you have all these heroes in the area. And they know they need to take down Paparazzi and land him, but they won't catch up to him. So good play there from Vici to dodge away from the gank coming from Serenity. Everything is up for Vici Gaming, too. So, like, once they start settling in and they figure out where Team Serenity has moved after that smoke, like with Hero showing on that top lane, they could also consider smoking themselves and try and use this lasso for a kill. But uh, they are also fully aware that Global is up here. So is this a smoke play coming, or are we just uh, pushing a tier two? Oh, look at this gold from the kills. Oh, yeah. 
a loss gold from the kills as well. Kind of hurts. Fairly even though, still for both of those numbers. Looks like. But yeah, it's going to be the tier two tower as you mentioned. Meanwhile, top lane is also going to be taking down the tier two tower. Jeez, they do not get enough damage onto that. That's for sure. Are they going to just push? No, they're not going to go for Iron. That'd be crazy. Yeah, they're just hoping someone wanders a bit too far. Uh, I'm sure they're going to end up centering their high ground, but uh, they'll be sad to find out that VG didn't leave anything behind. But got to do what you got to do. Support life. I'm just throwing away your gold. Clink's here. Does have his BKB completed. Going towards an MKB next. Likewise, it's going to be a BKB for Marana. Online very shortly as another smoke by Serenity. Looking for an opening here. If they can blow up the IO right at the start and... Ow, oh, the pings come out, though. Dyer's middle tower is under As they jump forward, oh, not thinking down there. there's somebody in there. This is scary. No blink. It's a long cooldown. They're just punching CYT, this range <laughs> creep, giving the game away. Oh, no. <laughs> and we'll take they were so ready for that initiation. <laughs> bug. Uh oh Oh. What is the IO bug? I don't know. They might not be able to see the tether, maybe. Okay. Well, we'll take our time. I'm sure that there are people talking to them right now uh, about what the issue is. But 18 to 20, 1,000 gold lead. I don't know what that means. That would be so good right now. Yeah. Unfortunately, nothing. It's okay. Dot, dot. All right. So there's a little bit of, there's a little bit of chat going on. A little bit of something something. They've been hanging out in uh, you know North America for a little while, so they're getting used to yeah, you know, the good. flavor. Yeah, it's good. You got to find that you know shift enter. That's pretty much the only way you should be using your keyboard. No, no sort of team go. communication. Game is paused, but don't be afraid to experiment by playing an unfamiliar hero. That's a, a good. Is thing that good advice? Okay, well just do it in unranked. That's a good idea. That's good advice. Or under hollow. Oh, Clink's Searing Arrows ability causes extra physical damage on his attacks. Oh, well, wasn't that good to know? See, th these are just little facts. Wow. This one is a good one. Pulling all neutral camps out of a camp near the minute mark will allow that camp to respawn. Use this to maximize the number of creeps you kill. What a what a, what a a novel concept. Goodness. You can disable auto-attacking in the options menu. Done that. Did that day one. You know, there's actually... So there's a funny thing... For some heroes, I feel like I actually need the auto attack after spell on, though. You know which one I'm talking about? Yeah. It's one of the options. I know the option, one. yeah. Um, and that one, uh, particularly for Meepo, whenever I play Meepo, because I'll, like, poof, <laughs> and then the Meepos will just stand there, and they'll, like, look at me. Yeah, that's true. And then I just don't do anything. Um, also, that one's I too probably, long. we got to skip that one. Yeah. I, I, I can't read that much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, use a Qualian Blade or Battle Fairy to cut down trees and carve your own path through the forests. I think it's pretty handy. That's a that's that. a treant skill. All right, so you guys, so you got your treant protector in your game. We saw one earlier. Right. And Pilot Eye went for the 90 damage. Now I'm just saying, Pilot Eye lost that game. You know, just saying, just saying. Okay, now mind you, saying. when you have the quelling blade and the two second tree thing, you can just cut a tree, walk through it, and the thing just grows back, and you're invisible. So you can juke forever. They never catch you. That's pretty cool. Never ever. You know, and the only downside is you can't like cut cool paths and then keep using them. So it's actually a little bit slow. Sometimes you get stuck back there. Make sure you have a blink dagger. You know where it's really cool is the uh, timber saw. Oh, apparently they can't see them. Um, hmm. Well, they said go, so. Hopefully everything is working. And it's all fine and dandy as we get ready. Another tense moment in this game. Fenrir hiding out in the the trees. He carved a path through, even though he doesn't have a quelling blade. He's I was the one who's like leaning ahead here. Okay. This is kind of crazy. They're, they're baiting it out. 11, ready, up on the high ground. They have vision here, complete and total. Oh, he misses! Vision. He missed it! And now the global comes after the fact. They find the stun as well. Onto the bane in the woods, and more damage coming out on Avicii as Lanham just tries to get the heck out of here. He's getting the damage mitigation. From the overcharge, but man, oh man. It's your boy, Eleven. There he is, ladies and gentlemen, my, my hero. <laughs> this guy goes for it, and I can appreciate that. But that was a bold play. 
Uh, he had two heroes closer, but he knows the one they really want is that silencer. If they can get him, it's just such a better start to the team fight. Unfortunately, he was not able to make the grab in time, and that's going to cost them a tier one mid. Yeah. Rough stuff for sure. And again, you make that play, you probably win the fight, and you're setting up to go really far uh, in the subsequent engagement as paparazzi not going to get hit there by the shackle. And ZYD looks like they will not decide to chase him. Instead, they just take down XCJ. That's silence or dead. 40 seconds. That should be a tower. Yeah, got him eventually. That's true. Not 11, though. He didn't get him. No. He was saving the lasso and for the saving next time around. the last hit for someone else on his team so they get the kill gold. Again, just the next level plays. That's what we want to see here. Uh, and the Aegis remaining for just another 35 seconds. Here. So don't want to get too wild here, but they would love to chip away to tier 3. In fact, they're just going to smoke up the Bane and the Bat Rider, and he's an Arcane Rune. Yeah, this is so really good. So good thing they had that lasso. It's also just amazing for Firefly. Honestly, almost more important. They have vision in here, though. Radiant do right now. Can jump on any of these heroes if they happen to come within range. Paparazzi going to be given Dust. that Aghanim Scepter, one of the few items that can actually double the damage that he does to towers as they manage to find the catch. The immediate Yule Scepter up there Jeez. on a ZYD, but still the damage is too significant. They blow through the Aegis, and the buyback from Iowa needs to relocate into this one. I don't know if it's going to be here in time, though. Eleven still living. They managed to take down the Clanks. Oh. Dead for 50 seconds. Eleven the urn. Oh, 10 HP. He survives oh the power shot, doesn't Are it? you kidding me? Oh, Levin. What a guy. Jump forward, though. They find Paparazzi because the Io had to relocate back. And there's going to be the call down. PYW oh, is going to go debate. in the grave yet again. Zink, you went too deep once more. And, and there's Lasso. And find the Lasso. The global silence comes with the BKB, actually. Zink, is living for the moment. But Ori turns this around. Isn't going to be able to find that kill onto the Marana. Does have a missile going forward onto him. But with the bottle heal and everything else... Zinq should be okay. Shackle off the mark. Another oh, the buyback shot. by the silencer. They managed to take down 11. TYD having himself a hell of a game. 651 gold for that kill. Didn't 11 just die? Yes, he did. I mean, 11's been having a great game. It makes sense that you'd have that much of a bounty. Wow. That, isn't it? He's 489. Why is that worth so much? That's absurd. That's a lot of gold. That's a lot of gold. Am I crazy? Why is that so much gold? Um, you know, I can't tell you, Trent. <laughs> we'll have to do the some math. The math is hard, guys. I don't know. Clearly, I, I'm missing so something. Here's the replay now is PYW again. Okay, so if you watch that bottom, 11's just standing in perfect vision of the dire side. Literally just standing there. So PYW blinks down and almost kills him. But that LSA saves the fight because at least now there's a chance for them to have a Regoose, which is what ends up happening with the buyback from the IO, and then it comes back in after the Aegis, and you can see 11 survives on 10 HP post-earn, but that, that is what secures them the tower, so excellent stuff there from Ori, really trying to keep themselves in this one. Yeah, definitely. Now coming back into the fight, Serenity, looking like they're going to find Initiation Fenrir, kind of left for dead here. They do have another Initiation. Oh my god, that was close to an arrow in the head. 11. Ori trying to run away, but the shackle shot onto two. They've been able to find him. The gyrocopter running out of there, but the mechanism is going to turn this one. And now Gyro pops the call down. Just going to chase all these heroes and kill off the Marana. Chase down ZGZ. And he is fallen. He's dead. Everybody's gone from Team Serenity. Zinku is wild. This guy doesn't even use his BKB. He just, it's a threat. He just buys it. Like, I'm just going to have this thing. I'm just going to hop into you and not use it. Paparazzi kills off XCJ. Oh. Good play with the blink back in, but the Yule Scepter was a little better, and eventually Ori is going to clean up PYW, it looks like. He's going to see if he can bait him out, but no high ground miss. Yeah, and they are marching to that Tier 3 up top. I think they might just want to march the mid lane racks, but probably figuring they don't have enough time, and if they go for the racks, they're definitely going to get some annoying buybacks, so just taking care of a second Tier 3. Buyback from Ursa again. Paparazzi just laying yeah, into the there's, tower. There's a pick from 11 like, guys, yo, they, you know there are barracks, right? <laughs> so they make the rotate during the glyph. Very nice. Good bit of damage being leveled out here. They do also have Ori. You can see him. <laughs> he has to try and move to the right to ensure that the second Ags actually hits the melee racks, not the ranged. Uh, downsides the Ags. It's not perfect. And the melee will eventually fall. Range goes down as well. And it looks like they're going to be content with just that. So they head back out and we will probably try and clear up these shrines. 
Oh man, Lanham now buying the Tome. So level 20 for him. He's got the 150 GPM, can start getting into some damage items if he wants, and then also obviously getting close to that 25, which just is game changing. I like the choice of the HP regen, just be, or uh, not going the HP regen, even though we see it quite a bit, uh, because the, it's a very bursty lineup from the side of Team Serenity. So I feel like if you're going to die, the HP regen is not going to make that much of a difference. Like there would have to be some sort of save play made from like a stun from Ori, like how we saved uh, 11 in the previous engagement. What's more likely is that you could get a save by buying a Glimmer Cape or, you know, some more items. And the later this game goes, obviously, you just get more and more value out of that 150 GPM. Plus, it gives space to Fenrir because now Fenrir can buy some items and you can pick up the wards. Yeah. Well, Roche. I have Fenrir, I think, for my fantasy, so don't do not do that. I need <laughs> Fenrir with a couple of wards being bought out here. Fair enough. Well, 6,000 gold lead. Roche is up. Serenity looking to potentially see if they can secure themselves something. Like, again, you look at this Ursa and it's like, great, blink, basher, jump in, potentially kill somebody. But at the same time, it does feel like in these big team fights, every time it's five on five, Vici come out on top. Depending on how the skills are hit. Yeah, it requires a pretty, like, the best fight they had was with the, the ZYD on the, uh, the shackle on two heroes, right? Yeah. So. 7,000 net worth lead. Gyrocopter Illusion coming up high ground. I'll take that one down. Now, Vici, know where they're at. God, Fenner is just so bold. Just walking around. Taking a stroll. Do you think ZYD is a big ZYF fan? Well, potentially. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, 11. Oh, blink cancelled. Nice power shot. It saves a life right there, but or not. they give up another one instead, and the global good Yule Scepter there onto the clinks. They can't deal out damage, and Paparazzi has his BKB out already. Look at the damage yeah. from this Gyrocopter with a Light Strike Array coming in after the fact. A double kill for Paparazzi, and it's on a few big ones. The IO Spirits hit onto two. XCJ is dead. Paparazzi triple kill. They've got another round of them as they try and make this work, but with the IO in tow, they won't decide to chase any further. Shackle? Not going to be enough. God, Lanham. Getting very close. Yeah, still has his mech. If necessary. And they're not going to end up pushing for anything, just because the wave is a little bit further back in the mid lane, but they'll go for the Roche. Plenty of damage for this, and you can see the Global Silence does not have that impact. They can last with anyone at this point, because uh, the Gyrocopter has the BKB, and that's already been effective, but more importantly, just getting into ridiculous damage because of these IO talents. Paparazzi's completely fine, even if his whole team is ulted from the global. Yeah, it really is. Um, and you also saw there, you know, the strength. Like, if BKBs are down for Serenity, they just can't fight. Like, there's all these little things. Yule Scepter, Light Strike Array. Uh, it connects, and then you don't have those right clicks coming in anymore. Even though they've got a ton of damage. Like, this Marana, you know, she's got MKB and Maelstorm, but you know, once that BKB starts wearing down low, it's just not happening. Here's the take a look again at that fight. Like, Ursa, not normally the target that you would go on in the initial beginning, but as you said, they just don't care about the global anymore. Yeah, everyone signs with Paparazzi, just stands tall and obliterates them all. Very difficult here for them to bring down at this point. And oh, back in the so main game, they're trying it. to fight their way back into it. There's Paparazzi he under a ward. Everybody, they catch them out as well. That's Marana dead. Can't get off absolutely anything. And. The damage coming in from this Clinks, it's not nearly enough. Also, PYW, they wait for the Enrage to wear off. Then they go for the Laguna Blade. They also have a Fiend Script here, and GG is called. Vici, own it. Yeah, just a pretty standard-looking draft. Saw the tools they had. I say standard, but I guess Batrider's been a hero who's kind of been out there lately, but felt like they just uh, knew what they were doing. I love